So first of all, introduce yourself. So I'm Jan Cardoso. Uh, I'm a French actor, and I also host many conventions in Paris, Amsterdam, and I did Montreal too. And actually, this one is my 31st. Convention. Okay. That's, That's a lot. Quite of them. A lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and how did you get into it? How did you start with it? It was uh, five years ago, and I ran my own show on the uh, improv theater, and there was a. Um, this new promoter that started uh, their own conventions and they knew that I was speaking good English and I could translate and then I was like, and they, they came to see the show, my show, and they saw that I can handle stage and entertain people. So yeah, yeah. we did the try, you know, like, okay, you'll do our first and we'll see. And yeah, now, yeah. yeah, 31st and five years later, here I am again. <laughs> okay, that's very nice. Yeah, yeah. And do do you uh, did you go to conventions before you did this? No, no. I didn't even know that existed. <laughs> I, really, like <laughs> I, I discovered like a whole new world. You know? <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, our uh, tagline is "excited is an understatement." Yeah. What gets you excited? About conventions or no, just, anything, just in general. Doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> uh, for preparing for a show, like you have a show, you have to go on stage, and like ten minutes before, I forget my text. I'm like, oh my god, I can I can go on stage. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember my lines, and I don't remember the script, and I don't, and so I'm stressing out. And but the feeling, you know comes inside and suddenly it's like now and you jump on stage <laughs> and the feeling that you have is it's hard to describe yeah and yeah. suddenly the, the the lines and the script comes back like right away and it goes <laughs> there you go yeah. yeah and you also act you said yep. are you working now on projects uh, I have my own stand-up comedy show um, that I played for three months and a half in Paris and I'll be back on stage with that show in January. So, and then I acted in some movies or French TV shows. Okay, so uh, are you into films or, or series or what's your favorite movie? Oh, as I said yesterday, one of my favorite movies is uh, Wild Things. Yeah. With uh, Niv Campbell, Matt Dillon. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember yeah. that movie? Yeah. <laughs> because the script is unbelievable. Yeah, like, yeah. Each time you have a new something new happening. Yeah, like, new, oh my God, new twist. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I think you have five or six twists. Yeah. And at the end, uh, when it's the end of the movie, and you have all the credits going, and you have the images. Yeah. You know the yeah. uh, the flashbacks. Yeah. About how it was created. And you know what? Just by talking about it, I had a good Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would say wild things. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. That's good. Plus, they're all amazing. Like, Neve Campbell. Yeah. You're not used to see her uh, in that kind of no, movies. No. Exactly. And she's trashy and everything. And yeah, she is. <laughs> and seeing her like that, wow. I think it's a really good performance. Yeah, yeah. Have you met her? No. I've seen her in Germany. Really? This year, yeah, yeah. She was really great. I'm pretty sure she's she's nice, and yeah. I love the fact that she she chooses her movies. Like she's more into uh, independent movies or yeah. independent producers or directors, and I love that because at least she sticks to what, what she, she wants, wants yeah. and she doesn't do only for money or yeah, that, yeah, that's right. right. So, a whole other question. Are you just clumsy or do you do... No, okay. <laughs> okay. Basically, uh, this one I avoided an accident because uh, I do rollerblades yeah. a lot. And I never wear my arm protections. And <laughs> I was going downhill really fast. <laughs> and there was a car going out of a garage. Oh. And there was a wall. So the car couldn't see me. I couldn't see the car. And... <laughs> and so to avoid the car, I like turned oh. right away and I fell. 
Yeah. Yeah. How do you prepare for a con like this? Do you discuss it with the the people from the con, or you, do you just improvise it yourself? I improvise. Uh, now I kind of. So I work for different promoters, and yeah. but the rules I are basically the same. And so the two or three first times I did it, I was like kind of scared, and I was like, okay, I have to remember that. And now it's like, okay, I know the rules. I know what yeah. I have to say and how it works. Uh, about preparing, uh, I did like 15 shows, uh, conventions on different shows. I try to watch all of them all the time because okay. in Paris I have to translate and I translate everything. Yeah. And if I didn't see the show before, sometimes about the translation, I need to know what they're talking about. Not yeah. that I yeah, won't sure. have the words, but the whole. Uh, picture yeah, yeah. of it, context. Yeah. yeah, the whole context. So, yeah, I try to watch everything, and sometimes I'm really happy because I discover new shows. Like I loved Teen Wolf, really. I except season five, uh, <laughs> but otherwise I was really into it. And but sometimes I watch, I had to watch shows that, oh, gosh, <laughs> <laughs> it's complicated, <laughs> and I'm like. One show I did eight seasons, oh, by, yeah. and I didn't like it. Oh, oh, oh god! But there were so many actors, and you know, also because they're talking. Sometimes the actors, when they're talking about the others, sometimes they tell their name or the character's name. Yeah, yeah. And if you don't know the show, yeah, like, <laughs> then it's very hard. Who is it yeah, talking yeah. about? Like Arrow? Yeah. Oh my god! I, I, something happened on on stage. I was with. Robbie Amell, yeah. okay, and the convention was about Arrow and the Flash, and I don't remember how it happened, but okay, on Arrow you have so the actor's name, yeah. then the character's name, but yeah. on Arrow they also have their superhero name, but they also have a spin-off, yeah. and there is a dark uh, planet I don't know yeah, why, yeah. and they have like a fourth name, <laughs> and suddenly he was talking about five people and. I got lost, like <laughs> really lost, and Robbie Amell <laughs> was uh, talking about Code 8, and he was like, yeah, it was cool because um, I had to meet again uh, Victor Gaber, and, uh, St uh, Stephen Amell, oh, uh, yeah, Stephen Amell, uh, yeah. Stephen, sorry, and I looked at him and said, who? <laughs> it was about Arrow. Yeah. <laughs> he looked at me and said, you know, you're hosting a, sh a con that's called Arrow, Stephen oh. Amell. Just the hero? Yeah. Okay, your cousin. Okay, uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so it's better when I watch everything. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so was Arrow the show you didn't like? Uh, I stopped up, uh, after season four. Oh, but you have to keep watching. It gets better. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I trust you. Yeah. <laughs> it really no, no, does. The, the one I, uh, it's not that I didn't like it, but I was, I'm too old. It, it was a uh, One Tree Hill. Like, okay, yeah. I guess yeah. One Tree Hill when you're 15 it. or yeah. 17, okay, it's okay because uh, it's about your life, also what you were yeah, doing yeah. in high school. Thanks. I was 30 years old. Thank you for being. Thank you, though. Oh. <laughs> uh, so when you're 30 years old. Uh, yeah, yeah, I get that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And how did you come involved with the con factory? Uh, because they came three years ago, or it's my third. So they came four years ago in Paris, and they saw me. They saw me hosting a convention, and they liked my job. So they asked me if I was willing to come host the convention in Amsterdam. So, yeah. Plus in Amsterdam, I don't, I don't have to translate. So yeah, yeah, that's that is nice. Easy yeah. job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah in it. Paris, at the end of the weekend, I'm yeah. <laughs> I'm out. Like usually, I need one or two days to get my voice back. Yeah. And but do you have to translate everything? Yeah. Really? That is a lot. And do you also the do panels. the interviews sometimes, yeah. or? I'm, I'm on stage okay. with the actors, and oh. I'm translating. Exactly what the actors are saying. Like, if they raise their hand on one word, I will raise my hand on the same word. <laughs> and I'm trying to use words that they can understand that are kind of similar to English uh, when I found some. So the actors know that 
I will play this exactly. Uh, Again. <laughs> uh, uh, what are your plans for the future? Uh, still working on my stand-up comedy show. Uh, I started writing a second one. And hopefully have a real good agent and starting doing a real movie business. Yeah. So. That's it. Yeah. Okay. That's all the plans. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you.